Hey guys, I have a sale that starts today. Uh, this is gonna be for only seven days only, where it's uh, it's gonna be $35 for a 10 minute read. I'll say 10, between 10 to, to 12 minute reading, where I give you a extended, long drawn out explanation of your love life, okay? Um, and I, I find these cards very interesting because uh, I'm gonna be doing something I'm not gonna say, I wanna do something really interesting with these cards um, that I have not done on YouTube or on any of my cash apps, if you guys are interested in that. So all the information is gonna be down below. Uh, it is a special that's only gonna be lasting for seven days for $35 for a, this is like a special love reading, if you guys are interested. All right, see you guys later, bye. Well, hello Aquarius. Thank you so much for coming back to my channel. If you are new, hello, I am Yasmin. If you have not already, please like and subscribe. So Aquarius, this is going to be a general and a love. I'm gonna split it. It's not gonna be that long because this is a Friday reading. Fridays usually are not long, long readings. It's just gonna get you through the weekend before I post again, either on Sunday or Friday. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use uh, some Oracle cards. Let's see which one I wanna use. Ah, I'll use this one. Let's use this. This could be some good information that you could possibly use on a weekend. This is going to be for Aquarius. Let's see what comes out. This is for Aquarius. I have a few cards that's trying to pop over. This is for Aquarius. Aquarius, we got one that literally fell out. I'm not going to ignore that one. Let's see if any pop over. There we go. All right, you have cycles of the moon. Now, let's go ahead and read this. Here you have outcome. It says, this card asks you not to be too attached to a specific outcome. So this is like you're expecting something, right? You know what happens when you're expecting something to come in? You don't really think about, focus on anything else but that, right? <laughs> um, or you're like wondering how a situation is going to go. Let's say you're dating and you're like, oh my God, I just want to know if this is going to work out. Is this anxiety uh, around a certain situation, okay? It says, in any new situation, the possibilities are open-ended, so just think of it <clears throat> that way. Anything can happen. And you know what this means for you. You're going to know what this means for you. These cards do not come out by accident. This, this is just something you definitely will be dealing with or something you're going to experience. And it's just like, you're going to be like, oh my God, how is it going to go? Whether it's a job or relationship, you get in a house, you get in a car, that's where you're going to be. It says, try not to prescribe a fixed outcome within your mind because this could limit your availability to, to the endless scope of possibilities that the universe is gonna have for you. So however this card works out, or well, you're, you're gonna know what it means for you, just go back, come back to this reading, okay? Don't be too attached to a specific outcome, a specific you know job, a specific person, where you're gonna live, that type of thing. Just kind of go with the flow. Here with the next card, it says, be your brilliant self. It says this card asks you to get in touch with the, the extraordinariness of everyday living, okay? It says, go about your daily life doing everything to the very best of your ability. You see why I say, I like the fact that this came out with the outcome, because you see how this is like, just live your life. That's literally what it's saying. Like you're worried about something over here. You're worried about how something make, how it's going to turn out. And this card literally is, is like, just live your life, Aquarius. But I mean, the best way you could possibly say it when the cards come out this way, it's like, just live your life. You're, you're going to be fine. The next card here that's at the bottom of the deck, it says this card invites you to attune yourself with the rhythms of the moon. Notice how the phases of the moon affect your energy. And learn to use this energetic shifts within you to enhance co-creativity. I don't know why I feel like some of you guys are going to be paying attention to the cycles of your period. I don't, am I allowed to say that? Because, you know, you're going to get in a place where either, you know, this could be a divine masculine or divine feminine trying to figure out how to create a baby. Okay. 
Some of you have not had sex in a while, so now you're going to be paying attention to your monthly more. <laughs> this is what I'm saying here. And for the men, you know, you're you're going to be dealing with something like that. This, if it, even if it's the same sex relationship, this is like, why is my partner moody? Right? They're being affected by the moon, or you could be affected by the moon. So just know that this moon cycle, meaning that there's going to be some shifts in personalities and shifts in behaviors with people and stuff like that. So don't be surprised. But either way, um, I, I, on, on, other than that, other than the shifts in moods and stuff, right, I do see that some of you guys are going to be um, focusing on the moon cycle for maybe children, okay, for a few of you. Now, I'm just going to kind of push these to the side. We're going to get into the tarot. We're going to see what's going to come out here for you. This is for Aquarius. Whatever's in the upright is in the upright. Whatever is reverse, reverse. We'll do that today. You got the Ten of Cups in the, re in the upright. Wow, this is amazing. Okay, so you got the King of Swords in the upright. You got the Ten of Cups in the upright. I see partnership, totally partnership, long-term partnership here, which is something that I've said. Queen of Cups in the upright. You got the Knight of Wands in the upright. <laughs> okay, being swept off your feet, Aquarius. Oh my God, this reading is amazing. Whoa. And then this one came out. I'm just gonna take it. Just gonna take it. I feel like there are some things with you right now where the outcome that outcome card came out is you know you need to ground yourself i think you're a little bit ungrounded you're a little you're you're a little too um your energy is a little unpredictable and this, there's some anxiousness energy because of that wondering how things are going to work either way your soul i like the king of swords because it talks about you you're very rational you do things by the book okay and um, you're strong-minded, okay? It, I like where it says mind over matter. I feel like with this King of Swords, like you're so good at being able to detach from things that, that bother you. You know, like I was going to make that be something else. It is that. It's the other stuff that I talked about too, being very rational and doing things that's more so like this is the better way to do it, right? Because you're more logical thinker. But for you, I feel like you're you are good about detaching from problems. That's how you're able to get things done. Okay. But I like the fact that the next card is the Ten of Cups. It's like you're not a monster. Like you really do have feelings. And you are going to be feeling things, especially for the divine masculines. Let's just say for you, you've been worried about your work, your finances, and this is what you've been focusing on the most. Where I, you know, sometimes the King of Swords could be like, I don't want to have anything to do with love. I don't, I'm not caring about that right now. You are going to be able to accomplish the things that you want, but I feel like this love energy that's coming in here is a little unexpected, especially the way you're going to feel. Even if you know someone is coming in here, I feel like it's the way that you're going to feel that's going to be unexpected, right? And this is for all Aquariuses. Now, there could be someone that you do know that's coming in and out, but mm, I mean, I feel like with this one, this is going to be more so a truer love, a pure love. This person is, does feel like a kindred soul, like a soulmate type of thing. Um, and it's going to bring stability. I remember when I just talked about the stable energy. Remember when I was like, you're feeling a little ungrounded and unstable. I like the fact that the Ten of Cups is emotionally stable as well. That's really good. And the same thing with the Queen of Cups, okay? Emotionally connected, feeling very empathetic, empath. You are an empath or you're going to come across someone who is an empath. They're going to know you and your feelings and they're going to consider you and your feelings. Love it. So the new moon talks about um, a new cycle beginning for you. Here it is again with this new moon energy. It's interesting because you have the cycles of the moon. Things are changing like the moon, right? Like it's changing from one minute to the next. And I feel like your life is going to be, that's that's how things are going to really be for you for a while where, you know, in, in a good way, by the way, because I see money getting better. I feel like if that has been an issue for you, I feel like you're going to really put your mind to those things and money is going to get so much better for you. It looks so good, by the way. Um, 
I do feel like whoever you're dating, this person does live around your house. I know some of you may have been dating people from in different cities. This person you're interested in, who you will be interested in, by the way, live where you live. They live very close to you, okay? And they could be a little bit younger. But yeah, I see that there is this like excitement, this you, you're charmed by this person. So this looks good. But like I said, I'm not going to put too much in this reading because this is a Friday reading. But this is what I have for you. Hopefully you guys can um, get some type of uh, encouragement from this. Okay, because this is a really good thing to see, by the way. This, and you know what? Before I finish, let me go ahead and pull one more encouraging card. This is going to be for Aquarius. Aquarius, I do have a special that's going on if you guys are interested for a love reading. All the information will be in the description box if you're interested. And somebody said earlier, like, I'm happy that you said the price because I still would have thought that the, the special would have been expensive. It's $35, okay? <laughs> and I'm going to put it in the beginning part of this video. You guys will be able to see it. If you're interested, step into the spotlight. You have a message that the world needs to hear. It's time to share your wisdom. <sighs> being brilliant, feeling emotionally stable, being creative. Yes, manifesting your dreams here with this new moon, this new cycle beginning. This, this is exactly what I see. Your money is going to be amazing. I feel like some of you are like extremely focused on your money too. This is, Ten of Cups is saying you're going to be more balanced. You're going to start feeling things. You're going to start loving people and, you know, you're not going to push love aside. I feel like some of you may have been doing that before. Get ready for the spotlight with love and with your work. That's what I'm saying. All right, Aquarius, thank you guys so much for coming back to my channel. I'll see you guys back here again soon. Bye, guys.